Uh, so yeah, we're going to be playing the Albino Hunter starting today. Uh, I do have, I think, a second day of it set up, but uh, it's probably going to take three to four actual stream days. Uh, tonight might be a bit of a shorter one. Going to the store page right now, by the way, so I can't see chat any. Uh, do -do. Let's see, what, what, what is a very basic description of this game? Uh, Callum Knox is the albino hunter. Even his pretentious and slightly racist title can keep him from waking up broke after a night of drinking. Uh, this is an RPG Maker game, JRPG specifically, uh, developed and published by Cherry Co. Studios. I've never heard of them. Uh, have they made any of the games? No, the only game it has been the albino hunter, at least on Steam. Uh, uh, yeah, so join him as he takes on various jobs throughout the land, which include spontaneous engagement, a telepathic lizard, a witch with a poorly insulated castle, and hey, that was just in the demo alone. The full version will include various additional plot lines, an updated battle system, more party members, and even an interdimensional minigame. Interdimensional minigame? Uh, does that sound like a multiplayer thing to you? That sounds like a multiplayer thing to me. But, uh, we shall see. Uh, shall we head in then? Uh, I don't know... How many voices I'm going to have to do throughout this entire thing, but don't expect them to... Don't expect them to persist from stream to stream, because uh, there, there's no fucking way I'm going to remember all of that. I uh, dedicated my sister, Obsidian Sickle, since I pretty much programmed this game with her in mind. Okay. And that's what I told her, well maybe your face is the one in danger. Wait, what? Oh, your was italic Okay, maybe... Well, maybe your face is the one in danger. There we go. <laughs> ah, laughter. <laughs> okay. Good one, Fargo. Wait. Right there. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm a terrible voice actor. Don't leave me alone, okay? I'm doing my best. I know, right? Who the hell just walked in? Where are you? What do you want? Good, e uh, good evening. What can I get for you? Or what can I get you? Not for you. Whatever this can buy, Helga. That, 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 that scar on the left eye, so... Ah, 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 laughter. Yeah, I know, right? Laughter's great. Uh, the, the scar on his left eye, by the way. That's interesting. Uh, who... <laughs> hey, who's the pale freak? You haven't heard of him? He's Carlos Nose. Carlos Nose. What does he knows? Why does he know it? I feel terrible for making those puns, but... No, you bloody idiot! His name is not Carlos Nose, it's Caleb! Caleb Knox! Carlos Nose! I like Carlos Nose better. The albino hunter. Also, he looks a little drunk right now. Uh... He's pretty easy to miss. He spends most of his time... Uh, his time in the Frost Cat Mountains. Kind of what I would do. In wording on that, uh, he only comes down into town when he's starved for human companionship. I do maybe a bit more nasally voice with him. Uh, uh, voices are in progress. Uh, he probably just spends a night of pleasures, then goes back up to the wild. Kidding me? I heard he took his last woman up with him and ate her when he couldn't find enough to eat. Wait, wait. What? Is he implying cannibalism? Or something else? For real? Yeah, uh, wait. <clears throat> yeah, they say, uh, that he only comes down during the full moon to turn all the folk into werewolves like him. Of course, that has to be it. Crap, he's staring at us, is he? There he is. I am not a werewolf. Of course! Of course he heard that, Baki. Or should we call you Baka? Eh, he heard that? Nor have I had a girlfriend. And what? No one brought that up, Caleb. And if I did, and for some reason brought her into the wilds... Wait, no, they did bring that up. Never mind. Uh, I could find us enough food, ergo, no cannibalism. I always forget how obnoxious humans can be. What do you mean, humans? What the fuck are you, then? Come again, punk? 
Oh boy. I don't care how long you've been living like a caveman, but I bet I can take you down. <laughs> Mr. Vardy, start a fight and I will get my friends at the guardhouse. Would that be the third? Fourth time your parents would have to bail you out? Wait, parents? How old is he? Yeah, wait, how old is Fargo? Why is he at a bar? Why is he drinking at a bar? What is he drinking age here? Two? I'm really confused right now. How old are these supposed be people supposed to be? Er, Alright then, if you aren't a werewolf who has come to change us into your kind, then tell me, when was the last time you came to town? Elega, when was the last time I had a drink here? I'd say around five weeks, Mr. Max? Five weeks. Mark was really not happy with his response, even though he responded to his question. I gotta, you just gotta love the people like this that uh, actually exist in real life, by the way. They get pissed off, ask you a question, you actually answer the question, they just get more pissed off. It's like, what? What? What are you, what are you doing? Screw it, I don't have to put up with this. I'm going over to see Castacia? Fargo, what about us? What about you? you? Guys, we're just having fun in a bar. Keep having fun in a bar. Why the temper on that one? He wouldn't last a day up at Frostcap. Don't worry about him. At least you don't have to deal with him and his groupies every night. Fair enough, Hug. For that, I can be grateful. We feel Mr. Knox? I don't know how much I can keep doing his voice, by the way, that way. If he's supposed to be the main character. I did not know he was supposed to be the main character, but yeah, I don't know how much I can keep doing that voice. Can I avoid it? F avoid it? Avoid. Can I afford it? No, but it's on the house. To be honest, Mr. Vardy had been getting on my nerves for the past half hour. It was bothering me too. Yes, but I can't drink on the job. Ah. I drink for the two of us, then. That you do. That you do, wakey face. Huh? What? Have a good nap, Mr. Knox? Ugh. I fell asleep and had this headache. Did she roofie us? It's called a hangover, Mr. Knox. I overestimated your alcohol tolerance. Eh. What happened? Oh, Mr. Knox, you do not remember our enchanted evening? What, what did she do? What did she put in this drink? Surely it was more than just overestimating of alcohol tolerance. Surely. And don't call me Shirley. Dot, 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 dot. Or what? I'm only joking, Mr. Knox. After a few drinks, you were out like a light. You must have been exhausted. Don't scare me like that, Helga. <laughs> Helga worries me. Anything else I should be aware of? Just after sunrise, you are completely out of gold and you have been re uh, reset to level 1 for programming conveniences. Wait, what? <laughs> Fuck. Shit? I don't know. Insert four letter swear here. Oh, let's get off the screen. You have one new item in your inventory. Thank you, Steam. Don't worry, you'll get back to level 42 eventually. Great. All of my equipment has been reset too. I can't go back to Frostcap in this state. Did this game seriously break down the fourth wall already? May I make a suggestion? No excessive drinking? No, I had to go out of business if I said that. Fair enough, Helga. I mean, fair enough, you do have to sell drinks. You are a bar after all. Tavern, perhaps? Uh, a while back, a girl from Orchard Village told me they have a bit of a pest problem. I'm the albino hunter, not a house cat. That may be, but apparently every hunter they've gotten for the job has been unable to corner the animal. They don't even know what it is. Is it pay good? Not very, but with zero gold, I don't think you can be very, uh, be picky. <sighs> now, first things first, do you remember how to walk? What? This is a tavern, Mr. Knox. It happens all the time. Now, do you know how to walk? Uh... I, I'm gonna say no, just to see if there's something weird with the controls. 
Use the direction arrows on your keyboard. It's rather basic. You can also hold down the shift key to dash. I can't believe I forgot that. If you ever get lost, just go up to a sign and hit enter or the space bar. They usually tell you which way to go. Also, don't be afraid to talk to people. It's just like looking at a sign. Walk up to them and hit enter or the space bar. It would be, uh, would do you good to talk more anyway. I suppose. And remember, save often. Never know when something could go wrong. Uh, to save, hit the escape button or the X button and hit the down arrow key until the save option is selected. Got it. Now, I believe Orchard Village is to the east, or right, of Thistletown. The color ring is actually very helpful, by the way. It is, but it takes a while to get there, if I remember correctly. Right then, I guess I'll see you whenever you come back here. Thank you, Helga. Which is mine, Mr. Knox. Okay, I need coffee. Alright, <clears throat> coffee. Delicious, delicious coffee. Off to Orchard Village? Orchid Village? Whatever. Uh, this will sound Orchid Village. Or, 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 or you. Holler, talk to me. Oof. Now, where did the cap want the sign again? Wait. Where did the cap want the sign again? Oh. Oh, the cap, not th that cap. What? <laughs> Watching the sailors as they work, aren't they cool? Are they? Oh no, he seems a little lost. He's looking for uh, a place to put a sign that the captain wanted to put him. Oi, buddy, if you ain't gonna give me a hand, don't talk to me. T okay, wow, rude. Nothing to be ashamed of in a hard day's work. Fair enough. Who are you? The temptation's so strong. My will is so weak. Of what is so strong? Tempted youth? What is this building? It's a pleasure. Your wife may be ashamed of you, but we aren't. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, this kind of reminds you of old Pokemon games, KB. I mean, the essentially RPG Maker is that, like, the, the what you see here is what RPG Maker is. I, this is not the first RPG Maker game I've played. Uh, there's been uh, a few others, like uh, Labyrinthia and uh, RPG, uh, which you can find on the channel, and a uh, different playlist, which uh, I believe is also on Twitch? Actually, wait, I think it's one of the few series I've yet to actually import over to Twitch, uh, but it is available on YouTube. Uh, both the first and second and third games of that series, because I really enjoyed that series. Now, let's see. What can I afford? I don't know. What can you afford, Witch? Hmm. So many choices. Uh, don't ever expect me to remember any of these voices I'm doing right now for any of these characters if we ever accidentally talk to them again, because it's not going to happen. One-off characters do not get permanent voices. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't need this. And this. And this. I might need this. Ooh, and this. And this is all I need, right? No, I would still need this and this. Hmm. Please don't go upstairs. Fine. Add a banana. Fine, I will go upstairs, Tabitha. Feel free to look around, but please, don't go upstairs. Would you like to purchase anything? Sure, what, what, what would you have to offer if I had any gold? Uh, so I mean, some, some various stuff here. So frozen right now? Why, why are you frozen? Thank you for coming, dear. Uh, my laptop might just get thrown against a wall. Why is that, KB? Having issues again? Okay, there's an inn. There's a weapons place. Uh, what do we, what do we have for our equipment? A short sword, wood shield, uh, no headgear, a leather top, no accessories. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Before, before I do that, I'm gonna hit optimize. Okay. 
I didn't think I would have had anything else on me, but I, I have played a few games in RPG Maker that have given you extra stuff if you actually bother to look at equipment uh, from the get-go to see if you wanted to wield something different from the start. That has been uh, detrimental uh, for, for gameplay sometimes. Do you have any business at the door of the district? No? But how the fuck did you talk to me all the way over here? Wait, oh, there's a guard up again. Uh, okay. There's a guard up on the wall. Never mind. Uh, it apparently didn't like me minimizing the game to pull up internet. Ah, uh, see, KB. Uh, it's negative 27 degrees Celsius, and I don't know what the hell that is in Fahrenheit, banana, but I do at least, at least have a relevant idea of what the fuck it is, uh, feeling-wise. Uh, Grandpa has this thing about not wanting to have the furnace running much during the night or any time. Oh yeah, I remember you telling me about that. The rats! The rats! The rats are coming! They're coming for me, the rats, ah! Hmm. Did I have this man? Sure. Really, yes, as a tutorial? But alright. Come down, sir. Tell me what happened. You 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 see those rats over there? The ones that are slowly moving across the road. Non threateningly move across the road. And right oh man, there's a butterfly above us. Yes, and wasp and slime too. I I got too close, and those rats, those rats, started to attack me. Oh boy, dealing with the newbie. It's all right, sir. There's nothing to be afraid of, except the rats. Not even the rats. Yes, it's true that most creatures will attack you if you touch them, but that isn't a problem, is it? No, you just engage pa combat. Uh, the, 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 I can speak. Uh, no, uh, you would just engage battle with them, from there you can attack them either using a regular attack, special attack, or a magic attack. You, you can? Most people can, yes. Fortunately, I'm back at level 1, so I can only use regular attacks and healing spells right now. But, but, but how? People learn more skills as they gain levels, which they do by gaining experience. You get experience from defeating enemies, such as rats. Oh sweet heavens, not the rats! What is up with this guy? Look, if you don't want to find an enemy such as rats, then you can play the battle by pressing the left arrow key and selecting escape. But, but I'm a man, real men don't flee from battle. You... You already ran from battle. Look, there's no harm in running away. It's better to turn around when you have the chance than get a game over. Well... But, what if you can't flee, man? What if the rats have me surrounded? Well... And you have no choice but to fight. No. What is up with this guy? He, he needs to chill. Chill. <laughs> if all of your big white man needs to enslave those rats, Bob wow, Dan. When uh, you're faced with a battle, <laughs> God damn it, uh, run away from. Then it's especially important to use strategy. Mashing the entry key only goes so far. I I I disagree. I disagree. Mashing the entry key can get you very far in a lot of games. At times like that, it's good to keep an eye on your HP or health points and to heal yourself with potions or healing spells when necessary. But, but, but. I really wish I had a webcam on. I really do. There's a look on my face with this guy. He's just. I. What? <laughs> what? This guy. Look, if you're going to fight without any other party, uh, with, without any other people with you or party members, then it's more important to stay alive than win. Got it. But the rats—he has a weird obsession with rats, like a massively overly big obsession with these rats, who aren't even following him. By the way, they're not anywhere to be seen anymore on screen. He must be the biggest chicken chip. Yeah. What? Sir, if you're that afraid of losing the battle, then say beforehand. That way, if you do get a game over, you won't lose too much data. The rats will never take me! Yeah. 
Me. I. Uh, Banana, are you getting rat blood by chance? Because, uh, if you show it to this guy, he'd freak the f out. Like, so freak out. <laughs> Is it bad that I hope the rats like him? No. No, I do too. Where the hell were we going? Alright, Orchard Village. Um, yeah. Yeah. No ginger ale? Oh. Well, I mean... Oh, hey. A thing that we could fight. Maybe? La la with pretty flowers. Wait. Why are the bees talking? These bees seem peaceful. Should I attack them? Nah. Nah, we'll leave the bees. Not the bees. Oh god, what would that guy think of bees? Oh, I can't actually attack the butterfly. You, slime. Uh, da -da. Oh, human, let's kill it. Wait, what? <laughs> bees? Bees seem to be much more of a threat than... Than rats, personally. He is competing with Pod for annoying character dialogue. Uh, quite, yeah, quite possibly. The slimes. Also, I wonder if all the enemies have a little bit of uh, text like that. Woohoo, I was victorious. Uh, 6 XP, 100, uh, not 100 gold. That would have been a lot of gold. 10 gold. Brilliant. Got goop stuck in my shoe. Yeah, I can see that happening, fighting against slimes. Get some goop stuck. Oh, hey, bats. Bats. Ooh, ooh, meat, flesh, blood. Bats, I could also see being a bit more of a problem than rats. Uh, did, uh you had allergy testing this spring? I take it the uh, bee stings was one of them. Come on, you gotta confirm that I'm really badly allergic to bees and wasps. Oh. Interesting. Once heard of a world where bats are peaceful, nocturnal mammals that only feed on small insects. Alas, I do not live in such a world. This game is really good about breaking the fourth wall. I I, I am not going to be surprised anymore about that happening. Uh, what is up? Fort Mud Pond and Cherry Co Studios. Ooh. Jericho, I wonder if there's anything there. Oh, well, well, Jericho. Just sounds silly. Wow. Wow. Way to make uh, a self poke at your own name. Damn. Devs. Fuck is this? Oh dear. This isn't the beach. This jellyfish seems lost. But beastful. Should I attack it? No, I won't attack the jellyfish. A little bit lost, so I'm a little confused on how the jellyfish is on the land, but uh, alrighty. Hell, the, the slime isn't even actually trying to like walk up against me, like, it's just wandering normally. Like, what the hell is that guy afraid of with these rats? Really badly allergic to dust mites. Dust mites? Really? And pretty allergic to apparently bun buns too. Bun, wait, what? How, what? What is a bun bun, banana? And also, I miss where that is bananas. Banana. We're really allergic to bananas. What? But you have a banana in your name. How did you not know about this sooner? Uh, bun. Oh, bunny. Bunny. Well, uh, <clears throat> apparently. What, well, you must be getting an allergic reaction right now, then, banana. Just from being in chat, because, you know, KB's here. Uh, that's how allergies work, right? You can, you can become allergic or get an allergic reaction from uh, people within chat it's based on name. Well, it works, right? right? Well, I'm here. It's all the map, isn't it? Whatever. You should find someone and ask about the bounty. I've held one month before, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it could just be a minor reaction. This guy looks like the one that was freaking out about the rats, only slightly different back head. I want to be mayor! I've been over this, Frankfurt. Just because you used to be a pirate doesn't mean you can be mayor. 
No, I'll just have to marry your daughter then. Okay then. I'm gonna walk away slowly. Or I'm just gonna walk away. There is no like slow button. The speed up button. Right for the odds house. Calls himself odd on his own sign. Give me something in the perp. Yeah, probably. Wow, this place is a mess. These are making me hungry. What are they? Besides round, like brown, round things. Those look like apples. What the fuck are these? Potatoes? These potatoes? Better in the dander. Yeah, very well. Could be. I would imagine it's going to be a lot of the same text over and over again. Thank. I patch a fury was found. Woohoo! Uh. Uh. Did not skills equipment. Optimize. Op optimize. Uh oh. Lowers my defense, but raises my attack by 15. I'm gonna wear it. Just because it's it's an item and I'm not eh. Uh that would be two? Maybe I I don't know what you fat fingered uh that R from. Um, but again, I've helped uh, bunnies to play with them in the past, and again, it could be a newly newer forming algae. So in the past, I was really allergic to apples and pears, but I grew out of that. What the fuck are you... What the hell were you allergic to apple... Wait. Apples and pears, yeah. What, what on earth were you allergic to in... From... I'm so confused, I can't even speak anymore right now. Doesn't look like anybody lives here. Literally cannot speak. Also, why is there a rope here? Yeah, they really do need to tidy up. Was this at 18 and again two years ago? I actually gained more allergies. I, ha I, I thankfully am not allergic to anything, to my knowledge, anyway. Hello, welcome to the Secret Oasis. How may I? Why is there all these dots coming on? Why are there so many dots? Dots. Dots. Dots, dots, dots. My gosh. Okay. You are the finest man I've ever laid eyes on. Eh? Uh. Can I marry you? Uh. Uh. Is that a sales pitch? Is she trying to make me buy more things just by entering her shop? It was more than caused me to have weird body reactions in the form of I didn't in such a deep fucking sleep I couldn't wake up, nobody could. I, I'm a deep sleeper now. <laughs> nobody could wake me up now, for that matter. I'm sorry. What? I, I I I know this is real strange at all since we just met like five seconds ago. But if I don't latch onto you, I'll probably end up marrying that creep in Frankfurt. Yeah, pretty much okay, be. And my gosh. Um, I heard this town has a pest problem? Oh, so that's why you're here. I should have known you were a hunter. Wait, you're here for the bounty that Daddy and I put out? Y yes Yes? No. What should I do? I can't just leave him- uh, I can't just let him leave. Is there a problem? No, of course not. What makes you say that? Are you sure the way you're wondering right now made it sound like the past has already been dealt with? No, no, no. That little thing has been kneading up my stock for months now. My name's Vivian, by the way. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hunter. Hi. <laughs> I bet he would feel very uncomfortable here, by the way, just based on the whole intro bit with Vivian. Like, what the hell? 
Now, since you'll probably be here for a while, Daddy and I set up one of the abandoned houses for you to lodge in. Oh, but you can't go in there yet. We haven't got the place set up for you. Uh, Banana, I would make a comment about the whole apples and pears thing on that, but, uh... <laughs> Not here. Uh, here, uh, let me show you around town. The f she just jumped over the counter! She just jumped over the counter! She jumped over the counter, this is... Well, maybe you can jump, that's for sure. Come on then, follow me. Come along this way, Pumpkin. Pumpkin? It's done, it's done some interesting things about it if you take the time to look. For example, this is a statue of my great-great-grandpa who founded Orchid Val uh, Village. I don't know why, but I keep wanting to call it like Orchid Town or Orchid City. It, it just flows better in my mind, I guess, than Orchid Village. Question. Shoot for a trigger. Why would a man name a village that he founded after a flower? Move it on. And over there is my grandma's shop. You should visit her sometime. Perhaps. You know, if the rope ever gets cleaned up, I'll be able to visit. And here's where my daddy works. He's mayor, you know. You know, come to think of it, you'd become mayor if you got married. Think about it, your own village. And I see where I'm staying now. But there's still more to see. Well, just Frankfurt's house, really, but I'm sure I could find something. That's quite all right. I walked all the way from Thistletown and I'd like to rest for a bit. No, you can't go in there yet. The, the, the place isn't uh, ready for you. Look. Appreciate the sentiment, but I, I, I've, I've lived off the wilderness on a regular basis. Plus, the fact that you are so set on hiding it worries me. That was over there, right? Now, please excuse me. But, but, but. I'm waiting, chat. By the way, but not, I'm not responding to every single message. Oh, she's gonna kill me! What to do? What to do? Oh, get out. Excuse me. I said get out, creep. You first. Excuse me? I said get out. I'm living here. No, I'm living here. What? I don't... I don't... Oh, okay. That's odd. I thought this was a house they were letting the hunter use. It is. They hired me. No, you seem to be mistaken. That hurt me. In fact, I was just talking about it with Vivian. Vivian! Come in here, please! Yes? What's a big idea? I told you guys I had this case in the bag. Uh, I'm sorry, Quint, but, um... But you needed help? 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 God, these voices are a pain in my throat, by the way. Ooh, well, you did say someone was coming later. I said, might come later, and that's only if he's smart enough to follow my tracks. Um, uh, oh, I know. Maybe Mr. Hunk here could stay here until your partner shows up? Maybe? You want me to share a room with some man I don't even know? Wait, wait, wait a second, upstairs. He can stay on the second floor. He may need to be fixed up a bit, but... Uh, no. This is my case, and this is where I'm staying. There's no reason for him to even be here. 
But if he leaves now, he'll never fall in love with me and I'll never bury him. Wait. Vivian. Vivian, chill. D chill about the marrying thing. God. You just met me. And this is crazy, so... Here, here's my number, so... And, and call me baby? I don't remember the fucking song. Um, <clears throat> oh, so this is what this is about. Uh... You shallow little... Now see here. I... What, what, uh, wow. You stay out of this, Whitey. Fucking just got called Whitey. I got called Whitey and I had to back up. That, that's how, that's, that's how impactful that was. Like, damn. Damn. <clears throat> Quinta, this town only has three other people in it, and there's only one I ain't related to. And you've seen Frankfurt. Yeah, I have to. Fact is, I kid you, there may be my only chance at a decent husband. That's not really my problem now, is it? But, Quinta, you're a lady too. Surely you understand a little. It's like talking to a wall. Haven't you ever been in love? Will your heart lead the way? Screw it. I'm taking this to Salvador. Salvador? Salvador Dali? What? I... Hey, you... Daddy! I... What? What's going on over here? Washboard that reminds me when was the last time I washed these clothes. Oh, yeah, probably. Probably never. Because, you know, RPG character. Salvador Daddy. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the mayor's name, or Vivian's father, is probably called Salvador. Uh. If I had... What the hell has happened to this little fucking village? Like, Jesus Christ, these places are just absolutely terrible looking. I'm as far as I don't just fall through the damn floor right now. Ooh, a potion. There's something in the fire pit, by chance? This is an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, yeah, it is. And apparently no, uh, apparently no things in the fireplace. Got it. I don't see a chest on this floor, do you? I don't. At all. What are you sighing about? What are you... What was there to sigh about? What are you looking at to sigh about? Stop your sigh. Okay, so they were heading over here, right? I have no idea what those gals were on about, but I want no part of it. Oh dear. Maybe I should save for good measure. Oh, what? Save? Save? Game, why are you telling me to save? Save, save, save. Hmm. Call. And then she called me shallow and. One slow down, you too, Miss Vardy. Now, what exactly is the problem, ladies? Him. Him. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> Hi. Okay, now, who's this fella? Doesn't matter. Salvador, your daughter, has invited this man to work on my hunt. While I'm still on the job, what's the big idea? Why have I gone partially southern? I don't know. Yeah, but why, why, why'd you do that? Don't know why I went partially southern. Yeah, you look at him. Though, the, these, these people here might actually be supposed to be southern, just based on how they're talking. What about him, sugar? Daddy? What, what? Seems your daughter's attracted me. I hope she'll win me over. She hired me. However, fearing Miss Quinta's temper, she didn't have the nerve to tell her to leave. So, Vivian made an attempt to distract me long enough for Quinta to vacate the premises without either of us noticing. 
I have no idea how she was planning on keeping up the charade past that, but it's needless to say that it backfired miserably. Uh, KB, yes, yes, Banana is. Yes, she is. And she she's well aware of that. Wow. That pretty much sums it up. Is... is that true? Or is this true? Sure is, it was love at first sight. Hold up a second, don't you think I'm comfortable letting my little girl run off with some stranger? What, you'd rather I marry Frankfurt? Good point, Sugar. I like saying Sugar a lot. Don't I have any say in this? I am the groom-to-be, after all. Hush, my daddy and I are talking. Cut the crap. We want, uh, we, we can... The brain, what the fuck did you just do with cut the crap there? I don't know. We can arrange weddings later. What about my hunt? Miss Vardy, as much as I appreciate your optimism, you ain't the strongest helper I've seen come by here. I doubt you'll be the last. Excuse me? Oh, by all means, if you catch a dang thing, I'm happy to pay you. What I'm saying is that my son-in-law hanging around won't be the end of the world. He could be very well, uh, he could very well be next in line. Wait, son-in-law? Son-in-law. Talking about, uh, what's his face up there? Son-in-law? I credit a spare game to both of you. Whoever brings me its head will be paid, but till then, would you, uh, would it kill you to have him hanging around? It might. Who knows, we have the two of you could work together. Heck no! Heck, comma, no? Why, why, why was there a comma there? Well, either way, you can leave any time, pay or no pay, nobody's stopping you. Hmm. Santa's mine. Now, where were we? You agreed to let me, uh, marry, um... What was your name? You're only really now asking me for my name? Sorry, I usually get caught up in things. It, yeah. Yeah, you do, Vivian. Yeah, you do. <sighs> My name is Caleb Knox. I'm the albino hunter. Ooh, Daddy, he even has a title. I'll be Mrs. Albino Hunter. <laughs> Somehow that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Yeah, it does not. I'm curious, by the way, what the hell banana sent you, KB. Huh. Huh. These dialogue options. Well then, Mr. Knox, how would you like to marry my daughter? Well... No, she's ugly. No. She's ugly. Well... Uh, chat, chat, what should I do here? For an option? Give me an option here. Uh, yes, banana? You know my past? Yeah, but I mean, uh, it doesn't make me any less interested on in what you specifically sent to KB. Go left. Um. Um. Left. Left is not an option, KB. Can't go left. I want to have a uh, suggestion on what I should be doing here. I don't know, the ugly comment sounds so rude, but... Okay, I mean, we don't know Vivian at all. She merely wanted to marry us as we entered her store. She then proceeded to lie to us about the cabin being... Or about the job. None of this I like, personally. Like, none of it.
Uh, oh no. Give me any suggestions. Since uh, Banana doesn't know. I... I have it. I, I do have a leaning towards one of these. Bitch fell out of the crazy tree, so KB is saying no. And uh, Tef is saying no. No, because the styling product she must use to keep those hair horns must be enough to bankrupt you. Wow. Alright. Well, I mean, you guys have spoken. Um. It's actually against what I was going to pick. I was actually going to go with well just to see where it would take us. But, uh, nope. We're going with no, she's ugly. No, she's ugly. Hideous, even. Wow. Wow, even added hideous. Jesus. What? 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 How dare you, sir? Odd guard! What? Achievement unlocked. X's wrath. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. Well, I can see why I talked about saving. Damn. Alright, so we know not what to pick again. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna skip dialogue here. Uh, damn. Okay, not even a chance to do anything there. I guess we're gonna get to see both options anyway, huh? Uh, that was being funny because they're rather realistic, though cute in an anime way. Yeah, no, I, I understood Taff. Just, damn. So much dialogue. I didn't realize we read through this much dialogue. Yeah, holy shit. There's a lot of dialogue. Dialogue for days. 